Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to part six of my DIY solar project. In this video, I will go through and show you the installation of the microinverters, the Q cable, and finishing up the wiring in the solar decks, and uh, show you the wiring in the junction boxes. And uh, we're getting pretty close to getting finished. So let's get on with the video.
Okay, so now that we have the micro inverters and Q cables installed, I can go through and show you a closer up look of what it looks like. So at each panel, there's a micro inverter. And the Q cable connects each one of them together. And at the end of the Q cable, since there's no micro inverters, this is the front section where there's six panels, you have a cap that just terminates it. And the nice thing with the iron ridge system, the racking system, you only have to run the ground cable to each section. So it's connected to this section of panels where there'll be three and then this section of panels where there'll be three. And that the, the way that everything works, it bonds everything together so you don't have to run the ground cable to each individual panel. It makes the installation a million times easier. And then this is what the inside of the solar deck looks like once it's all wired in. Obviously there's a lot of room left in there. This is just for this particular installation, but again with this bus bar right here, you can add so many different types of terminals and use them in so many different ways. You can also use them for say a DC panel. So if you have a string inverter, you can use it for that as well. This is AC wiring, so it's a lot smaller gauge. And uh, there's only one leg coming in. So there's only one Q cable coming into this particular one, only one ground cable. On the back side, I have two Q cables coming in. Also something else I couldn't find so if you look on the bottom side of this microinverter, you see a whole bunch of barcodes here. There's a sticker right here that you got to remove and put on a label sheet in order to register them with Mine Lighten, which is their tracking system. So when you take the stickers off, you attach them to this sheet that allows you to kind of, you can kind of draw out a grid, but you have to put them on a sheet so that you can register them. That helps you with tracking your production and usage. So let's show you the other solar deck on the back side back here see it's got more going on in there because there's two Q cables coming into it and then I have the wires color coded with some different color electrical tape that helps me up here and down on the bottom side in the junction box And again, the single ground wire coming out, bonding to the three different sections down here, and then running over to the final section right there. On the back side, all the microinverters and Q cable installed back here. So for this one, instead of using one of those terminator caps, I ordered one of these off from eBay, which allowed me to just terminate it like this. I got this whole plug off from eBay. And instead of just having the terminator cap like I showed you on the other one,
didn't really save any money, but kind of made this, the, the way that I, I ordered them, it kind of made it a little bit easier for the install. And I'll show you the last section. So here's the last solar deck. Again, very simple. That ground wire coming out, bond into that section, and then that section. And the way that I have the solar deck located, and since there's seven panels over here, kind of goes in a kind of a weird path. So it starts at this microinverter right here or panel, goes over to that one, then it comes down to this one and runs along the bottom three, and then it goes back up to there and over to this one, which, and then it stops there. And with this one, I used one of those Terminator caps. Well, we're back down in the garage. I got the junction box open here. And you can see the conduit running down from the attic. The three small ones on the left, those are coming from the different uh, solar decks and the one on the right that's the main feed going back to the main panel all right so i'll show you what we got going on here inside the junction box so the two on the left that's the side of the garage and the front of the house and they combine into one series of panels uh they're not wired in series or wired in parallel but whatever one group of panels for a total of 13 so that's why it looks like that and then this one is the back side which has two groups and you can see that i also have them color coded here to make it easier on me all the equipment grounds come into the bus bar and go down out the wall into that grounding rod that I showed you in a previous video. So let's open up the combiner box. So here's the breakers for each section. Even have them color coded, same as the wires to make it that much easier. And I even opened up the envoy open up the cover so i can show you that i got the consumption meters wired in so that wire that i showed you that ran through with the main feed cables this was for the consumption meters and i got that wired in and wire into right along here. There's also a production meter, which is right here, but the consumption meters are in the main panel. So I'll take you out back and show you the rest of it. So in part three, You'll have seen that wire that was just all coiled up in here for the consumption meters. And back there, I made the connections. This is the disconnect. And in the main panel here, this is where the consumption meters are. They're just sitting in there for right now because the only thing that I have left to do is to change out the main breaker. I'm gonna be derating that to a 175 amp breaker. That way I can have a 50 amp solar breaker. Otherwise, 
the most I can have is a 40 amp. So I have to derate the main breaker, which entails having SRP come out and unplug the meter socket. And then I can change out the breaker and go through inspection and all that stuff. So that does it for my DIY solar project, part six. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more I Can Do It Myself videos.